anyone can do this. Regardless of your skill set, you can make this epic gown. I promise you that. Guys, happy Friday! Man, today is a good DIY. We are going to be making an incredible, no so sequined gown that you can wear to a red carpet, or a wedding, or a gala, or Trader Joe's on a Tuesday, whatever floats your boat, this is gonna be an epic piece. My name is Orly Shani, I am the DIY designer, this is my YouTube channel. I do really great DIY home decor and fashion and always a really high-end inspo that we sort of distill down into the easiest possible DIY hack, which is such a blast. I have done quite a few no so sequin gowns that I've actually worn to weddings or to red carpets before, but I think that this one, I like keep staring at it, sorry. <laughs> I think that this one might be my favorite because it it looks so profesh. I wore this to a wedding that we had in New York and I got stopped by everybody. I was told by a woman there that aside from the bride, that I was the best dressed of the evening, which really made me excited. I had someone ask me if it was Proenza. I had people asking me what designer it was, where did I get it, was it custom? But I was like, you guys. It's no sell. The reaction was so amazing that I think I might end up wearing it to the American Influencer Awards. I don't know if you guys missed my video two weeks ago, but I got nominated for an American Influencer Award. Emerging Fashion Influencer of the Year. Oh. The event may be in person, and if it's in person, I think I'm gonna wear this to the event because what better thing to wear when I'm nominated for something like that than a DIY? I feel like that's really appropriate. If you guys haven't had a chance to vote yet, by the way, I'll put the link below. All you have to do is tap my face, scroll to the bottom, click Submit Ballot, and then it'll ask you for your email address. You type in your email, but then unclick from all the mailers. So you won't end up you know, receiving any like mailers or emails as long as you unclick, and then click Submit Ballot. You could even vote like once a day if you wanted, if you were so inclined. Uh, the voting closes on the 30th and then we'll see what happens. Now just a quick note on your fabric. There's two things I really recommend here and this is super important. Number one, do a fabric that's like a statement in itself. I really don't recommend doing this with just like a simple piece of like pink silk. I would do this with something beaded or something velvet or something sequined, something that on its own looks legit. The other thing is the amount of fabric you need. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fabric and cut it into four equal pieces. The width of those four pieces needs to be the width all the way around your body, right? So for example, let's say I measured all the way around my hips and it was 40 inches. And obviously I want a little bit of movement and I want some swooshiness. So let's say I'm gonna go with 50 inches, right? My measurement is 50. I need to make sure that when I add up all four of my pieces, it's at least 50 inches. So that's how you'll figure out whether you need one yards or two yards is gonna depend on the shape of your body. And you'll see that as we get started, you'll be able to kind of reverse engineer it. All right, let's do it. I can't wait to see your versions of it. You have to tag me on social if you make this one. Thanks for being here, let's do it. So here is my fabric. First thing I'm gonna do is lay it flat, fold it in half so I can find my center. Find the center and cut. Now this is obviously a sequin stripe fabric, super easy to cut in between two stripes. With those two halves, you're gonna do the same. Basically, you're just cutting your fabric into four equal rectangles like this. So this is a different type of fabric, but I realized I didn't film the other part of this. So basically what you're gonna do is take the four tri uh, rectangles and at the shoulders, you'll connect them. Now, if you don't cut off that mesh that's on most beaded fabric, you can actually use that to make your tie. And it ends up looking like these kind of cool, like tulle little fluffy bow, but basically that's it. You are taking four even pieces, there you can see four even pieces, you are tying them in a bow with the excess, and then those bows go right on your shoulder. Now we're gonna do the final tweaking that really will make this all come together, but this is basically the DIY. You're going to either put this on your body or on a dress form, whatever's easier, and you're gonna figure out how low you want the opening. One really good way of doing this is grabbing a belt of some sort, something to tie it that's actually gonna keep it in place. You can see this is it. Nothing has been sewn, nothing has been pinned, nothing except for tying my shoulders and belting my waist. Now you can see the full bottom is four solid pieces. I put a skirt on underneath to give me some coverage and I've gotta figure out exactly how long I want it to be. One of the things that I realized was I didn't like the way the panels were sort of sitting there, four panels around the bottom. It works really nice on the top, but not so much on the skirt. So what I'm doing is taking my fabric scissors and I'm basically cutting in between the layers of the sequins to create almost a fringed effect. It's gonna be this long, flowy, fringy skirt. Look at that. 
it opens it up and it actually allows it to spread out over whatever skirt I decide to put underneath. Okay, here are our two pieces. The bow goes right on the shoulder. On the shoulder. Take your belt, just grab it. Super loose so that you can tweak. Now you're gonna open, make a nice neckline here and come over to the side. Same thing in the front. M match it so they have a nice shape. Grab the side, side in the back, and now you're gonna close the back up. You're just gonna create a little overlap and once it's exactly where you want it, pull that belt super, super tight. You're gonna tug everything so that it is tight and in place. It's all just gonna stay right in place. Great movement. Now I have to decide what I wanna wear underneath. One of the reasons this is such an easy DIY is that the sequined piece that you create is gonna go over something else underneath that gives you all of that coverage so that you're not showing your body, right? So a tulle skirt is what I have here, although I didn't really like the way this particular tulle skirt was looking. I happen to have this skirt, which is more of like a stretchy mesh and it doesn't have as much volume. And I actually liked the way that looked much more. So what I ended up doing is I put this all on my dress form. Again, you can do this on your own body, but I've got a dress form, so I use it. I realized it actually looked much better to cut these slits all the way up to the waist, basically exactly where my belt is gonna go, just below it. It allows each of those pieces to fold and lay in a really flattering way, whereas when I belted it before, I had a little bit of bulk right where the belt came. It kind of like, I don't know, they overlapped in a weird way. By cutting them, it lets them lay on top of each other and flatten out at the waist, but then open up in the skirt, which is gonna look beautiful. Another thing that I did, and this is totally optional and also depends on your fabric, is I laid it on my dress form and I started kind of like creating some pleats in the front so that that top area was a little bit more like narrow. I didn't need as much volume. So I literally took like the two little pink sequin pieces and I overlapped it on top of the next one. And then with a needle and thread, I just tacked it down. This is where you guys have the ability to use your skill set. If you're comfortable hand sewing, not only could you do these little pleats, but you could actually tack together the center front, center back, and two side seams. They don't need to be tight. They should still be loose. The belt will create the shape for you, but it might be an easy thing to do. You could even do it with fabric glue. I mean, the only must for this DIY is for equal pieces of fabric that are large enough to cover your body, tied at the shoulder, put those bows on your shoulder, wrap it around your body and belt it. Like that's all that's actually needed to be done. The rest of it is up to you and your skill set and what you want to do. You can see here again, I'm wearing a bustier corset with like a really tight sort of slip skirt. This will provide my structure underneath. This is a totally different fabric. It's really, really stretchy. So something like this does not need any pleats. It doesn't need anything. And you can see, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna belt it loose. I'm gonna wrap the fabric around, showing off that structure underneath, which is actually giving me my more tailored effect. Now, this thing just gets to drape on top, giving a little bit of sparkle. And again, all it is is tied at the shoulder and belted. You really don't need much more than that. You can see how pretty it is. I actually created almost like a cap sleeve by pulling a little bit more volume from the back, like belting it a little looser and pulling it towards the front of my body. Because this was stretched, it sort of hugged the shoulders, which is really flattering. And again, this one I would actually say would be really cool doing the same sort of fringe effect, is cutting this more column shape up, up, up into strips so that it's a little bit more flirty and flowy over a skirt. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna show you guys what this one looked like. I have a couple of photos from the actual wedding when I went and then my brother did shoot it for me here so you can see the movement of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I cannot recommend it enough. Like I said, anyone can do it. If you guys have any questions, either comment them down below. I am here to help or you guys can always reach me um, at Orly Shani on Instagram. And if this was your first video, I hope that you'll subscribe and maybe share it with a friend. All right, you guys, enjoy the fashion show.
so dear white dress. I did it. I did it for the wedding. <laughs>